So in this practical, we're going to be looking at the reduction of copper oxide. This is used in industry to extract metals that are less reactive than carbon. So in my crucible, I have placed some copper oxide and some carbon powder and mixed them up. What we're then going to do is we're going to heat them on a blue flame. So that is the hottest flame for at least 10 minutes. This is in order for the temperature to rise sufficiently for the chemicals to react together. What happens is that because the carbon is more reactive, it will take the oxygen away from the copper and therefore leave you with copper metal. This method is used to extract those metals that are below carbon in the reactivity series. So this has been heating for 10 minutes. What we're now going to do is tip out the contents onto a heat proof mat. And you can see that there are some flecks of the copper powder within the black powder. Now, obviously, in industry, this would be left for much longer and heated to much higher temperatures to extract all of the copper out of the copper oxide.